Welcome to DJ Event Planner. My name is Fletcher, one of your support members here at DJ EP. And in these videos, I'm gonna be walking you through your new DJ EP account, showing you where things are, how to set it up, and helping you make your business better. But before we begin, if you've not signed up for a free trial yet, go to djeventplanner.com and click on the free trial button and sign up for a free 30-day trial. No payment information is required. And that way, you can follow along to these videos. So with that said, let's get started. In this first video, I am gonna walk you through your new DJ Event Planner account, show you where to find certain things, show you what certain things do, and most importantly, get you started on the right path to getting your account set up. Once you signed up for a free trial, you'll first be brought to a privacy policy in terms of service page. Make sure you agree to those, enter your first and last name and tick the box to agree to those services. And once you've done that, you're gonna be brought to your default landing page. This page can be changed later in setup and you can choose whether you're brought to the calendar, to a custom dashboard or to your upcoming events list. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But on this default landing page, you'll find a month view calendar, as well as a day view panel here on the right hand side. Clicking on a date on the calendar will take you to that date on the side. And on the side here, you'll be able to see specific messages as far as availability if you have that set up, your to-do list, next actions, appointments, as well as these important software messages. At the top of the calendar, you'll find arrows to navigate through the months, as well as you can click this icon, which will allow you to go to a specific date, as well as your calendar settings. You can also change from year view, month view, week view, day view, as well as a list view, which will show all of your upcoming events as well. In the day panel, at the top, you'll have the date that you're on. The green square icon will allow you to quickly add an event to that date. Or the gray appointment icon, which will allow you to add an appointment contact or to-do item. As well as events that will appear here on the right, you can click on those to be taken directly to that event. Here at the top, in the blue bar, you will find your quick action icons. These four lines here will hide or expand the side menu. This icon will take you to your custom dashboard. Currently, we don't have one built yet. You can create one from there. Clicking the calendar icon with the number 31 will take you to the monthly dashboard. Clicking the one with the one will take you to the daily dashboard and clicking this calendar icon will take you to the yearly dashboard view. This icon here will take you to your events list. This one will take you to your DJ event planner inbox. These are messages that have been sent to you through the system and they will be website tool submissions, electronically signed contracts, etc. The link icon will allow you take you to your web links you can add a web link to an external site, as well as you can bookmark internal DJ Event Planner pages here to your web links for quick access. The printer icon, of course, opens up your printer dialog. And then lastly, the plus icon will allow you to quickly add a new event or add an appointment. Here on the right is a search bar, which is one of my favorite features. You can search by anything. You can search by a date, you can search by a name, by an email address, phone number, a lot of different items that'll bring things up. Moving on, here on the left menu, you will find main menu, which will give you access to your dashboard, calendar, ability to add an event, add an appointment, take you to your events list, see your clients, your employees, venues, vendors, or other contacts that you may want to store within your system. As well, there's an option for web links to quickly access those from the menu. Under mail, you'll find access to composing a message. 
to your sent messages or to your DJ Event Planner inbox. Under Reports, you'll find a plethora of built-in reports, as well as this option, Export Data, which will allow you to create a custom report from one of these items. And we have specific tutorials for exporting custom reports or for building custom reports. Under financial, there's different reports that are financially based from payroll to payments, incoming, approved, pending, the ability to see your income, expected income. You can also track other income as well as expenses. Under event planning, this is where you'll manage the tools that your clients will be able to interact with in the client portal. Under website tools, these are the tools that you can link to or embed directly into your website. So you'll want to come here and make sure you go through items such as client portal, as well as setting up your payment gateway, your music database options, and how you can get information from clients from your website with either the request for information form, the contact form, or the instant quote tool. We have a further tutorial on these website tools that will be available. Most of your time, however, will be spent under setup while you're getting your account set up. There's two sections here. There's a general setup from document templates, email templates and email settings, SMS, packages, add-ons, equipment, and more. And then under application, you'll find some, a lot of your administrative settings from your general settings to booking helpers, your dashboard settings, calendar settings, and more. Underneath miscellaneous tools, you will find the complete merge tag list. If you're looking for that, you can also access the merge tag list when editing a email template or document template. You can batch print documents. So if you want to print documents from multiple events, you can do that here, as well as a few other options. Underneath support options is where you can get many of your questions answered. You can find our getting started guide, live chat, our support form, FAQs, and you can also view the change log to see what the DJ event planner development team has been doing with the system. Under account, you'll be able to access your company details. You'll make sure that you want to go through this and complete these details going through. You can also find your login information and you can edit it from here as well. And you can also see more details about your account as well as account statistics. And when you're ready to subscribe, you can also click on subscriptions here under my account and then select subscribe monthly next to the subscription level that you wanna to subscribe to. And last but not least, two items here in the bottom left. If you're not sure exactly what account you're logged in as, you can look at the logged on as and it'll tell you and you can also sign out of your account. With that said, where's the best place to start? So the best place to start, first and foremost, is going through these software messages and taking care of each one of these items. Once those are complete, the next step is going through the Getting Started Guide, again, which can be found underneath Support Options in the left menu, and then by clicking on Getting Started Guide. This will walk you through the foundational setup items for your account. And last but not least, again, if you have questions, you can always reach out to us via live chat as well as the support form. And during your trial, we will be sending you helpful tutorial emails along the way to help you get your account set up and going. With that said, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done so yet, and look for the next video in the Getting Started series. And we look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Happy planning.